Yeah, man, the haircut looks nice, right? Got that new haircut. I'm looking all G and uh, got a new job. I feel all nice and brand new and fresh. You know what I'm saying? Well guys, it's Tuesday. It's been eight days since I've been at work. And uh, man, I feel like death today. <laughs> I'm really gonna have to push hard today. Uh, they got me jackhammering and cutting concrete with a concrete saw. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing all day. You know, eight days after I haven't been working. Now I gotta do all this. <laughs> Shit is rough, man. We gotta do it. Oh yeah, tomorrow. I got a job interview with the place um, so we'll see how that goes and I'll let you know uh, they're talking like part-time maybe full-time I don't know but if it's full-time I got a decision to make and that that's the problem I, I don't know man it's gonna be a tough decision I put I stuck it out with this job man and uh, I've really tried to make it work so I just I don't know man if I get this part-time job for the weekend then maybe I can keep this job survive the winter maybe I don't know we'll see the problem is is if the the new company wants to move around days and stuff I gotta just kind of be straight up with them be like can can I get these weekend days only but we'll see we'll see what happens all right so I just finished jackhammering concrete and digging and all that fun stuff for like a long time man it's like it's like 2 p.m. already <laughs> Damn. So I finished with that. I gotta return the rental equipment, the jackhammer, the concrete saw, and then uh, then I have to go all the way by Gig Harbor and dig like a four foot hole to dig up a riser. So damn, I'm busy. And the weather ain't so nice. It's nice and wet out here. That's for sure. Not that nice. <laughs> but we're having a fun day. I'm digging a big trench here. It's already 5 p.m. and I'm out by Purdy, which is way past Gig Harbor. I get this trench 20 inches deep. And then over here, next to this riser, gotta dig four feet down right there. <laughs> and I already spent the entire day jackhammering concrete. <sighs> my first day back <laughs> at least I'm making hours though I guess I'm blessed for that but blessing and a curse right <laughs> well guys I don't know if you can see it but I dug his hole well most of it anyway and we got the trench over there which you can't see really because it's dark showing the dirt there on the plastic What's up guys? What's going on? I am off work. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting a cold. It sucks. Anyway. Um, been a long day. Like seven days off. Because they didn't give me any work. And worked 12 hours today jackhammering and digging. Damn. It's a bust ass day. I'm definitely going to need some, some good sleep. Because I got, got that interview tomorrow. And I'm hoping that goes good. I got another interview for Thursday, guys. So, you know, I'm kind of on a roll. I had another company try to, there's two other companies try to set me up with interviews. I literally just spent like, you know, I don't know, Sunday and Monday or whatever on uh, applying for jobs. And yeah, I'm getting calls and texts and everybody wants to, to interview me you know because I got a good resume I have a lot of experience I've worked so many different jobs and that makes me special and unique um, but I really want to just like stick with the job for a while but it's hard I don't know man oh yeah I sent a text to my boss to see if I get that get the bonus because there's a Christmas bonus everybody gets but I was told when I got hired October 15th I think it was um, that I'm not going to get the bonus because I needed to be hired before October, which I think is crazy. That is just insane. 
So other people are collecting their bonuses, and then I cannot. Uh, I was talking to the coworker about that, and he's like, "Well, that's the rules. Rules are rules, and we had to all go through that. But nobody should have to, you know. Like, 15 days, okay. Well, make it a little bit less. That much less of a bonus check. Like, it's kind of crazy. Everybody's getting these bonus checks. You know, I worked, you know, more than a year. I put more than a year in here, and I can't even get one. So, because <laughs> I missed it by 15 days." They, they call, call it like a, they say within like a fiscal year or whatever that means. I don't know. So, whatever. Um, at least I got 12 hours today. Um, so that means I'll survive another week. But, um, you know, the following week, I don't know, man. Shit is crazy. So, um, keeping fingers crossed. Maybe I'll get some more work here. And uh, tomorrow I'm hoping to land a job and I, I gotta negotiate uh, you know good enough pay for me to be able to take that job so we'll see man I hate I hate doing this uh, applying for jobs stuff it sucks I, I just want to get done with this and um, I just want to survive the winter and not, not be a bum on the street <laughs> holding up a sign or some shit like that's not me Anyway, I guarantee you, I put I burned so much calories today. Like I probably lost at least five pounds just today, all the work I did today. You know, after not doing nothing for seven days and getting all the way back up to three hundred pounds, guys, I think I lost five. So I should be like around two ninety five. I bet you. Yeah, dang. Yeah, man, I gotta I gotta step up my game on the workouts. I'm going to, I'm going to, guys. I'm not gonna let myself go. Fuck that better than that damn it what's up guys what's going on it is Wednesday and I am heading for my job interview um, I'm rushing actually I had to go and get my tabs because I ordered them online my tabs for my car and they didn't come in the mail and that was like November 23rd and I talked to him today, and they said that they mailed it. But I never received it. Anyway. So I had to go get my tabs in person. Which kind of defeats the purpose of ordering online, doesn't it? But whatever. At least uh, I got that taken care of. One last thing to worry about, but I'm rushing. I got an interview at 1.30, guys. And it's almost, it's like four minutes till uh, 12.30. And I gotta get a haircut, so I'm gonna go to Great Clips and get my haircut because I got my sides are all messed up, and I gotta thin out this this mustache. I don't know if I'll have them do anything with the beard. Maybe. I don't know. I might. I don't know if it's like a bunch of extra money, <sighs> but I gotta hurry because <laughs> you know my appointment's in an hour. Damn. Rush. They say they like me to be there 10, 15 minutes early, too, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're rushing. Damn. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I wish me luck, guys. I hope I, I get this job. Um, I'm wanting full-time with them. But if they do part-time, then I want them to, like, set a schedule for me. And then I can make my other job work around it. Or take on a different job and make them work around it. Either way. Um, so, I don't know. I just know I ain't going to be suffering for, for the rest of the winter. Um, I'm going to get money. I'm going to get paid. That's what we doing. And it's funny. I was looking for a shirt earlier. And I couldn't find one that fit me. Some of them are so small. Like my belly hang out. I ain't trying to look like a belly dancer. I don't think I'm going to get a job if I go in there looking like that. So... Uh, I found a shirt that, that fits me good. It's a Carhartt. So you can see it, Carhartt. It's it's not bad. It's not the like the best shirt I could have possibly found, but it's the only one I could find that fit me. So um, there was another one that was like 4X, and I couldn't fit. I mean, it was way too big. Like it looked really stupid, like way oversized. Like the the arms of the shirt were like this big. Like come on now. <laughs> so. Um, I found this shirt, it fits me perfect, and the only thing was all wrinkled, and I was like going with a paper towel and a hot water, 
and like wiping down the sleeves and you know trying to get it to like wrinkle out get the wrinkles out uh, that wasn't working that great like I worked a little bit uh, so I went to the landlord the landlord uh, ironed it real quick for me so shout out to her man that's awesome I'm gonna help her out she needs some help with uh she's installing a new uh, oven and stove and I thought she said something about like the new oven and stove ain't working either I don't know that sucks so hopefully I can help her with something. I don't know what yet, but I'm gonna go help her. I feel like it's the right thing to do. There we go guys, check it out. Looking good, right? Oh yeah, ready for that interview. Still got half an hour to get there. Damn guys, I actually kicked ass. Going in 20 minutes early. That's what's up. Well guys, guess what? I got the job. I'm stoked. Uh, it's so much closer to my house. It's like a maybe a 15 minute commute tops. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be a janitor again, guys. Uh, cleaning bathrooms. Like I'm good at that. Uh, I didn't have any problem doing that. Um, I think it'll be fun. It won't be just cleaning bathrooms though. It'll be like uh, I'm working at a store, so like be cleaning up like spills at the store or whatever. Whatever happens, you know. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I just put in my notice. I tried to give them two weeks notice. I really wanted to do that because I felt like that's the respectful thing to do. Uh, but the, the company that hired me needed me to start literally Tuesday. And I was like, oh man, but I wanna give notice. But there was no like, uh, no breathing room on that. So I just had to do what I had to do. I, I, uh, I called my, my you know main boss and he didn't answer and then I called like the other boss he didn't answer and then I called uh, my uh, like kind of immediate supervisor and he answered and uh, basically he's gonna relay the message and he said pretty much like I told him I'm available like tomorrow and Friday and Monday you know the weekend whatever but I'm not available after that I start this new job on Tuesday so um, yeah, he said, uh, he basically said that it's so slow they'll probably just, just cut me loose. I'm like, alright, well, it is what it is. I guess, uh, if that is the case, then I got a whole bunch of time off, uh, before my new job. So, I mean, that might not be so bad. I'll do lots of gaming and we'll do some workouts and, uh, it's gonna be good, you know? So, I'm really excited. I already went, I did my drug test. Should have no problem passing a drug test. I don't do drugs, so um, yeah. Now I gotta, I gotta get home and I gotta, I gotta submit some uh, some forms and stuff uh, in the email and uh, take a little like tiny class that shouldn't be very long. Um, you know, when I get home, and that's it. That's all I gotta do to prepare for the job. And I start Tuesday. I'm really excited, guys. Um, yeah, my life's about to change for the better. The schedule, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Damn. Ah! <laughs> the schedule's, uh, it's five days a week, uh, three to ten. Three to ten, so that's like almost full time. It's not quite, they consider it part time position or whatever, but I'll still get benefits, like medical and dental and all that. Uh, I think like 90 days in or whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, not so bad. I like a 401k match plan, all that good stuff, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be happy. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start at 13 an hour, $13 an hour, but uh, to be honest, guys, like, I didn't take a cut in pay. It's not gonna hurt me too bad uh, because, like, you know, I make 18 now, but, but I have a one hour commute. This is gonna be a 15 minute commute. So basically that's uh, a total of two hours versus a total of half an hour of driving to and from work, which is gonna really, really change uh, the amount of money I spend on gas, which is really awesome. Like, it takes 15 minutes to get to the new job, but I feel like it's like maybe a quarter of the uh, miles, probably a quarter of the miles. So, uh, yeah, so it's a lot less gas money. 
going out, uh, freaking, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's about it, but, you know, I think, I think, like, oh, oh, yeah, so it's a lot less gas money, plus, uh, there's not gonna be union dues anymore, union dues cost, like, $45 a month, so, uh, I mean, that shit adds up, guys, like, $45 uh, a month is, uh, I don't know, what is that, like, maybe 50 cents or so an hour uh, less because I, I pay the union dues. And then you think about the, the money I spent on, on gas, it's probably like, I don't know, uh, at least, at least 60 to $100 Let's just say it's a hundred dollars, then that's like, uh, you know, subtracting another dollar an hour off my wage, so it'd be like sixteen fifty, which is kind of closer to thirteen dollars an hour. After you think about all that, I don't know. I think I'm gonna be happy, guys. I think this is gonna work. It might be a little less money, but um, I'm gonna be better with like budgeting and uh, you know, not buying things that I don't need, and I'm gonna try to get good at saving. I'm going to take advantage of that 401k matching thing and try to contribute a little bit because they'll match it, you know? So, um, yeah, it's going to be good, guys. Um, right now, I'm going to stop at a grocery store real quick, get a little bit of food, um, get some chicken. i got to get some chicken. I'll make maybe some more teriyaki chicken or something uh, tonight and, uh, you know, have some some good salad to go with that. Hells yeah. That is the plan. But yeah. Um, anyways guys. I'm going to go home and I'm going to take care of all that other stuff. I might go help the landlord. Uh, the landlord. Uh, had something going on with her oven or stove. Uh, so I'm going to go help her if she needs it. Um, as far as like lifting it up or whatever she needs with it. Um, yeah, because she helped me. She helped me kind of get the wrinkles out of the shirt. It's a lot better than it was. Um, but yeah, man, the haircut looks nice, right? Got that new haircut. I'm looking all G and uh, got a new job. I feel all nice and brand new and fresh. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, if you guys would, smash that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, comment down below even if you're in the premiere guys thank you so much and yeah share it out guys share it out with all your friends on facebook twitter whatever let them know thanks y'all have a good day peace out